How are we doing ladies and gentlemen? I'm Grim from the Bug Out Boys and welcome to another bot. And this bot is titled, Break the Bubble. And what do I mean by that? Well, first we need to think back to our pioneers and forefathers and bushmen and, and frontiersmen and people like that who were always out in the elements, whether they were farming, hunting, fishing, traveling on horseback, and, and they didn't have any fancy schmancy down jackets or Gore-Tex or anything like that. They, just, they had wool and cotton, and they didn't just survive, they thrived. Obviously, because we're still here. But how'd they do that? Well, since they were always out in the elements, their body was able to acclimate to the changing of the seasons. Now, let's fast forward to good old 21st century, where we live in what I call bubble environments. Your house is a bubble. Your car is a bubble. The work, grocery store, mall, they're all bubbles because they're all climately controlled to that perfect, what, 68 degrees that we all love. And because of that, our body is just used to that small little margin of temperature. And if you stick it in too cold or too hot, not only by a little bit, it doesn't do so hot. It, it's, it doesn't like it. And this is where breaking the bubbles comes in. And the perfect place to start that is right here in your car. Because the car is the perfect place to start helping your body reacclimate to the changing of the seasons. First, you spend hours in your car, whether it be commuting to work or traveling to see friends or family. You're here. You're also sedentary, which is good. You're not active and kind of tricking your body because when you're active, you always feel warmer. You're sedentary and that's good too. And then most important is that you can really change the environment here very quickly. So what I'm encouraging everybody to do, and I've already started doing this myself, is leave your home, dress for the occasion. If it's cold, dress warm. If it's hot, dress cool. Hop in your car, vehicle, whatever. Don't turn on the heat. Don't turn on the AC. And go to wherever you're going. And if you find, this is the perfect part, if you find that you're, it's too cold or you're just drenched in sweat, then turn on the AC, turn on the heat, and keep yourself safe. Better to do it here and slowly help your body out than to head out in the woods, whether it be hot or cold, on a nice long hike and find out halfway through this wasn't a good idea and you start getting dehydrated, hyperthermic, hypothermic, and, and, and being dangerous situation. So, give it a whirl. I'm already enjoying the benefits of it. I personally do pretty well in warm situations, but not so good in hot. I'm very skinny and and thin, but by doing this, I have already noticed that I am more cold tolerant than I used to be. So, hope you enjoyed this bot. If you have, please do uh, subscribe because there's going to be more bots, more Pioneer Press reviews, and of course, Bug Out Boys episodes on the way. And of course, leave your comments down below because I want to hear what you think of uh, these theories and how. You know, maybe start at the car and then go on hikes. Or maybe some of you already do this. Maybe, maybe you went straight for the house. So, once again, thanks for joining us.